Hi you guys, happy 2020 and welcome back to my channel. It's been almost a year I think since I posted my last video. So I thought I'd hop back on and kind of do a little bit of a life update slash what I'm envisioning, what I'm doing, what are my goals are in 2020. So let's get all started. So first off, I took a hiatus from blogging to focus a little bit more on my business. So that's why you haven't seen me on YouTube as much. I haven't really mentioned it on here yet, um, but I've started my own business. It's called Goldwaters and I'm launching in the spring. So in about three to four months, just depending on when all my stock comes in. So Goldwaters basically, um, it's been something I've been working on for a very long time. I've really just put it into overdrive these past six months um, because I've finally kind of decided where I want to go with the business. So I've really been focusing on that, hence the lack of YouTube videos. But I am back on the YouTube platform because I want to start making more videos about the behind the scenes of running your own business, um, the things I've learned myself, um, what I've learned from other people, just some helpful resources because there's so many um, instances where I kind of had to come on YouTube and watch a ton of videos or scour the internet and do all that stuff because um, really unless you went to school for business or entrepreneurship and even then um, you're not ever fully equipped to kind of deal with what it is you need to do. So a little bit about my background. I went to school for fashion design. I always wanted to um, start my own business. Originally, I wanted to design swimwear, and um, so some of you guys might know about that. I actually went through the whole um, sampling process. I have swimsuit samples here in my closet, um, and I just ended up falling out of love with the whole swimsuit design aspect. Um, I think I kind of sat on the idea a little too long, never executed it, never felt fully passionate about the idea so um so then for a little while i was kind of lost um on what to do i decided i wanted to design clothing but that endeavor is just ridiculously expensive just for especially the quality of clothing that i want to design um the idea of having to launch an entire collection um to be able to sell an entire collection to um stores is just a huge undertaking and not something I was financially able to start doing. So what I'm starting to do instead, Goldwaters is going to be an online retailer. I'm starting with four brands that I'll be carrying launching in the spring. They're all um, women run and operated, designed. Um, to be completely transparent on this element, um, they are all women run and designed except for one of the brands I'm working with. Um, when I initially bought from this brand, it's the biggest brand that I'm buying from. Um, they are a family owned business and the owner who is a man, um, was hoping to pass the company down to his daughter one day. So that was kind of my, um, my kind of reasoning behind being able to purchase from this brand. Um, since I have purchased from this brand, they have changed ownership. So, it has gone to another man and so now um i'm gonna kind of look into it and see i might not be repurchasing this brand um continuing on their stuff is absolutely gorgeous but the one thing that i really wanted for goldwaters was to um celebrate women-run businesses and there are so many amazing brands that are 100 percent run by women out there that i really want to support so um I will be launching with this brand, but I'm not sure if they'll be kind of staying on my roster or not, just kind of depending on how things go. I'm going to have to do a little bit more research into that. The three other brands I'm carrying though, those are all run by women. I'm going to have a separate video coming up talking about the brands that I'll be carrying. Um, but all the brands I'm carrying are, um, more uh, slow fashion, you could call them. The quality of their garments are all um, really top notch. So the idea is you purchase something from my store and my hope is that you keep it for years and years and years and years to come. Um, right now, fast fashion is just such a horrible thing that is happening in our world. It's really great that um, everyone is able to afford fast fashion but the problem is is that they churn out mostly um, trendy pieces 
and they're basic pieces um especially because like a white t-shirt for example a basic you're wearing it so often um that theirs just really don't stand the test of time i know even myself like i'm by no means perfect i have some t-shirts from forever 21 in my closet right now and after having washed them a third time they're like basically see-through so i just don't wear them anymore um so i think the trend that we're seeing come forward is people leaning a little bit more to either vintage clothing um consignment like shopping from a consignment store or um, purchasing just better quality garments that are gonna last in our closet much, much longer. So that's kind of where I'm gonna be fitting into the equation. My goal with Goldwaters is not for you to shop at my store every single month and buy things that are, buy like six things that are worth $20. I hope you think long and hard about your purchases and you're buying these unique pieces from my store because if there's something that, um, are special to you, something you're gonna be purchasing for an occasion that you'll be able to keep in your closet or that they're just really good quality basics um, that speak to you that you'll be able to wear from season to season. So that is kind of my goal with Goldwaters. Um, so just to kind of like go over that, it's all about celebrating women-run businesses and then um, making sure that I'm selling good quality garments that I'm not putting into the world some more fast fashion. That's not what I want to be doing. Um, so with that, um, that's really what has been um, taking up a lot of my time. Um, this whole video isn't going to be about Goldwaters. It's more of like a general life update, but that's kind of what's been consuming a lot of my life. So I thought I'd share that with you guys first and foremost. In other news, um, as you can probably see, if you followed me because you've watched my apartment tour video which I think a lot of new followers are from that video hi guys um, as you can probably tell I'm not in the apartment in Toronto so since then I've moved back to Ottawa I've moved in with my boyfriend Graham um, he's been in a couple of my videos I think if you go check my Cosmel vlog we went on vacation together there so you will have seen him in that video but we moved to, in together he was living in Ottawa I was living in Toronto um, I actually moved to Toronto. We had just, just started dating when I signed my lease um, to move to Toronto. Actually, we met on the day that I signed my lease to move to Toronto, um, and I wasn't moving for a month. So we had only been dating a month when I decided to up and move to Toronto, and I wasn't gonna let a guy um, kind of derail my plans, but we made long distance work for not too long actually I decided to come back home pretty quickly it was I think five months or so that I was in Toronto maybe six um and in that time Graham was pretty much coming to visit me every weekend since I had the dogs and I didn't have a car it was just so much harder for me to come back to Ottawa um because I couldn't take the train with both dogs so it was um a lot of back and forth and visiting each other our plan originally, he was going to come move into my apartment for a couple months and test it out. And he was going to move to Toronto um, and we were going to kind of set our life up there. And every time I came back home to visit, it just got harder and harder to leave. And I'm super close with my family. And my sister is um, also back in Ottawa. We hadn't lived in the same city for four years. So um, every time I'd come visit, it was just so much harder to go back to Toronto and I wasn't doing anything in that city that I couldn't be doing here. So I just decided to move back. And since I've been back, I've mostly worked on Goldwaters and I also started serving again. Um, I started serving at a restaurant here in Ottawa for about six months. I ended up quitting because it was a very toxic work environment um so i won't go too much into detail about that but um i stayed there for six months and it was really hard to kind of balance running my business and working there because i would be there super super late um so i quit right before christmas we are now in the first week of january and I'm gonna be serving at a restaurant that I used to serve at in Ottawa where the work environment is just a lot better, the hours are a lot better, and it'll give me a lot more time to actually focus on my business. So so that's kind of what I've been up to since 
I was last on here. Um, my goals for 2020 just are to put my absolute all and everything into my business. Um, that goes for time, effort, money. Um, I'm trying to be an adult for the first time in my life, just trying to be super responsible. And um, I'm just really learning as I go. So I'm excited to make some videos for you guys to kind of show you how I've been um, navigating the whole entrepreneurship thing because it's not something at all that really comes natural to me. Um, I'm an uber procrastinator. I'm like, I have such a hard time focusing on things and I really, really need to form some new habits so I can really go for this uh, full force, which is kind of what I've been doing. So slow and steady, I've been trying to get into a habit of going to bed earlier, um, working out more, just really taking care of myself because I know that once you really take care of yourself, that's when you can um, really like put out the best. Um, if you're not taking care of yourself, there's no way you can focus fully and give something else 100%. Other goals I have in 2020, I'm trying to be um, way better as far as like environmentally goes. Um, just trying to do like any little thing I can do. Um, I'm going to have a whole video on eco packaging. So all the um, packaging for my business is going to be like as eco friendly as it can possibly be. Um, and I want to show people that you can do that without sacrificing the look of like your branding like um and packaging design and your customer experience um for example i just received a box in the mail the other day for actually this um it's a soul mug so i bought this um not from the company i bought it from another retailer in canada um because i don't think they deliver to canada this company they're an australian company but i bought this to be more eco-friendly just so when i go out and grab a coffee i can just use this instead and it's also just super cute, so it kind of gets me in the habit of bringing it with me everywhere. Um, but I received it in a box that literally, so it's this small, I received it in a box that was like this big. It was huge, and I was like, okay, like we need to be better. Um, and it really just for me was an experience of, okay, when I start shipping out my products, I need to be better. So um, I'm going to have a whole video, though, on my whole, like, eco packaging debacle and some good resources um, if you're looking for um, some eco packaging to uh, kind of help you out as well. So yeah. So I don't really think there's all that much else to cover. This is gonna just kind of be like a short little video. Um, I'm like sitting in my PJs and <laughs> my uh, slippers here just in my room. Um, and I really just wanted to kind of update you guys on what I've been up to because I'm kind of trying to steer myself in a different direction and as far as the whole business thing goes I know that um, if other people have helped me then I can maybe help other people so hopefully um, the videos coming up in the future will be helpful this one wasn't super informative it's more just like a little uh, kind of keeping you guys posted and reintroducing myself especially to all my new followers um, that I've recently had a like major influx of like a couple I think like a not a couple hundred like a hundred new followers or something um which when you're a small account is a lot so um yeah I really just wanted to come reintroduce myself let you guys know what I've been up to who I am what I'm doing um so thank you guys for watching I want to prompt you to subscribe to my channel um especially if you're someone who's looking to start a business or if you're even just curious about the whole process if you've ever thought about starting your own business and you just feel like it's so overwhelming and you don't even know where to start i've literally been there um i'm also a perfect example to show you that anyone can do it so um give me a follow and i will do my best to kind of uh, shed light on any of those subjects for you and answer any questions you have uh, but thank you so much for watching and i'll be back